Assalamu alaikum. Today we have Jenna Nasad with us, who has been a part of IDIA since the very beginning. She was just five when she began attending workshops and classes, and as she grew older, her role here at IDIA grew larger. When she turned 13, Jenna became an intern at IDIA and a member of the Youth Council. She began putting together projects to help her community, from putting together a blanket making class to create blankets for the children in need, to putting together the 10th anniversary decade dinner to celebrate 10 years of hard work here at IDIA. The first question I have for you, Jenna, is what does this safe space for youth mean to you? A safe space is a place where teens can go and have a community where it's a very friendly environment. They know that they're welcomed and a place where they feel like it's a judgment-free zone. Um, I feel, especially in my experience, an example of a safe space for me would be like attending Muslim events, especially the Ilya events, just because it's all youth. So everybody feels a lot more comfortable there. And I think a lot of the students that attend are always more safe if you would say they know that there's no judgment everybody's a lot kinder and it just creates a very friendly environment um they have no one to really judge them and we're all there to like learn and make friends and things like that so why do you think it's important for youth to have an area where it's a judge-free zone um i definitely think having a safe space is very important especially because a lot of teens that are in the area typically most of them go to public school or a few of them go to islamic school but i think for the teens that are going to public school having a safe space is definitely very important especially because oftentimes they are going to school with um majority of them are not muslims and i think sometimes people think that can be very intimidating and it kind of it's like oh i'm the only muslim in my class but if they have kind of a safe space to go where they know that they're not going to be judged where they don't have to fear like i'm the only muslim or things like that i think it really helps them but even in like islamic schools as well i think sometimes people like even at school in general there's always pressure like oh i have to do really well on this things like that and i think it's just having a place where you can go where there's no pressure there's no judgment at all. I think that's really important because it really helps your mind relax, kind of reset, and really helps you focus on your education, anything really. So I think having a place like Ilya where students can come and attend programs, workshops, and just really learn, but also have fun with their friends and connect with teens in the community is really great. And I think it's a a great blessing because it allows you to kind of connect with people and then you kind of form friendships and those friendships transfer and if you actually like a lot of my friends I've met through Ilya and then they ended up going to my school so it's a great way to kind of like strengthen your aim in and then that still transfers to when you're not in a Muslim environment. You view having these youth safe spaces as important but what would you think would happen if youth didn't have a safe space or if it were to be taken away from them? How would it impact them? I think it would really definitely impact them personally. I feel like if I didn't have like a Ilya or a place where I can go or like even like a local message when they have events, I feel like that's also a great place. But I feel like if I didn't have a safe place where I could go where there's no pressure or no judgment, I feel like I would definitely crack, um, especially in our day and age. Students are always like working like, oh, I really need to do well in this test. And they kind of pressure themselves a lot. And I think I would have definitely cracked under the pressure if I didn't have a place to go where I can just kind of talk with friends and kind of relax a little bit and not have to worry about being judged or being perfect because I have to do well in this test or I have to do well in this assignment. So I definitely think it helps your mental health to be able to go to a place where you can relax. And even like the youth crisis line, that's a great safe place for some people, especially if they can't go to a certain place. It's online. They can just call or text and it's really beneficial for them to kind of like have a place or somebody to talk to because sometimes people don't have like a relative or family member that they can talk to to kind of help them feel at ease so I definitely think it's really important and I feel that kids that don't have them often feel like they are gonna crack under pressure or they often have a lot more difficulty in like education and things like that. So for youth that um, don't have uh, their own safe space, do you think that they could create their own and how? I definitely think it's possible to create your own. It might be a little bit more difficult than just kind of having one given to you, but I definitely think it's not impossible. I think my biggest piece of advice would be to kind of seize your opportunity. So if you see that you're kind of 
like you don't really have a safe place or a place for you to go or someone to talk to where you're just very judgment free, I think it would be a great way to kind of seize opportunity and go find those things. So I know a lot of local messages have programs. Ilya has tons of programs where people can come in and have a safe space. So if you see an Ilya program, maybe sign up. If you see a message doing an event, definitely sign up because going there will allow you to definitely make a difference. You'll make friends there. You want to go back, things like that. So I recommend signing up for programs in your community or calling the Youth Crisis Fund. It's also a great way to create a safe space if you can't have a parent drive you every weekend somewhere, things like that. So I definitely think it's important, but I would just say like a little bit of research and you would be good to go. Well, Jazakumal Khair and Jenna, thank you for your time and your knowledge and your input. It was very much appreciated. Of course. Thank you for having me. Assalamu alaikum. Have a great day. Wa alaikum as-salam. You too.